Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today, today I am discussing the exercises of the chapter The Flower, Class 6. Right? First, just see here exercises, multiple choice questions. In a flower, pollen grains are present in filament, style, anthers, or oval. Pollen grains are present in in anthers. Pollen grains are present in anthers. Second one, anther is a part of sepals, petals, stamens or carpal. Anther is a part of a stamens. When pollen of a flower get transferred to a stigma of same flower, it is called self-pollination, cross-pollination, fertilization, dispersal. The correct option is self pollination in a maize plant pollination occurs by water insect wind or bats it occurs by wind right a fruit that develops from a ripened ovary a fruit that develops from a ripened ovary dry fruit fleshy fruit true fruit false fruit what it is it is true fruit developed from the ripened ovary it is a true fruit right Next, true or false. Pollen gains are present in the anther of stamens. Pollen gains are present in the anthers of stamens. Yes, the statement is true. Sepals are brightly colored parts of a flower. Sepals are brightly colored parts of a flower. No, sepals are green colored part. It's a false statement. Sepals are green colored part which also takes place in photosynthesis pollination in hydrilla plants is by wind false pollination in hydrilla hydrilla is an aquatic plant so here pollination takes place by water apple is a true food it is a false statement because apple is developed from the thalamus of the flower pollen tube carries male gamete yes the statement is true Pollen grains carry the male gametes. Now fill in the blanks. Just check it out, children. Anthers and dash are parts of stamen. Yes, anthers and filaments are parts of a stamen. The correct option is filaments. F I L A M E N T S. Second, dash part of the flower turns into a fruit and dash into the seed. Ovary of the flower turns into the fruit and ovule changes into the seed. O V A R Y ovary, O V U L E, it is an ovule. A carpal has three parts stigma, style, and ovary. S T I G M A stigma, S T Y L E style, and O V A R Y, it is ovary. A pollen grain gives rise to a Pollen tube that carries the male gamut. P O L L E N pollen tube, T U B A tube. A mature ovary develops into a fruit. F R U I T. Now give one word for the following. Now see here. One word for the following. First, present in the anthos of what is present in the anthos of love? Pollen grains. P O L L E N. Pollen, G R A I N, grains. Second, green leaf like outermost world of a flower, sepals, and it is also known as calyx, that is the green outermost world of a flower. Second, process of fusion of male and female gamete. Process of fusion of male and female gamete is called fertilization. F E R T I L I S A T I O N. Right? Now here you see the fourth one, structure in a fruit, structure in a fruit that develops from ovule, structure in a fruit that develops from ovule, it is seeds, S W -E, e D S seed. Next, fruits having dry and hard seed cover, fruits having dry and hard cover, it is the croconut. Next diagram based question, answer the following reference to figure one, figure one, Stamen, S T A M E N. Identify the structure shown in figure 1. 
A is anther, B is filament. A N T H E R, anther, filament, F I L A M E N T, filament. What is the function of A? Anther, formation of pollen grains. Label the parts A, B, C in figure 2. A, B, C. A is radical, B is cotyledon, C is plumule. Right? What is the function of part B? Part B, cotyledon. Cotyledon, it stores food for the baby plant. Function, it stores food for the baby plant. Identify the given figure 2. Identify the given figure 2. It is internal structure of dicot seed. That is the bean. Right? Now the differentiate sepals and petal. Sepal is the outermost world of the flower. Petal is the second world. Sepals, they are also known as calyx. Petals and they are green in color. Petals, they are known as corolla. They are variously color. Self and cross pollination. Self-pollination, transfer of pollen grain from anther to stigma of the same flower or the same flower of the same plant. It is self-pollination. Cross-pollination, transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma from one plant to another plant of the same species is called cross-pollination. Transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma of one plant to another plant of the same species is called cross pollination. Wind pollinated and water pollinated. Wind pollinated flower, they are not showy. They are light in weight. They carry the, so that they can easily carry. Whereas water pollinated flowers, they are large. They remain under the water when they mature, then they float on the surface of water. Here, male flowers float on the surface of water. Here, the male uh, gamete, they float in the air. Right? Next, true and false food. True food which are formed by ovary. Only formation of food by ovary, they are known as true food. False food. Foods which are formed, the part of the flower other than ovary, if any part of the flower changes into fruit, then it is called false fruit. Monocot and dicot seed. Monocot seed, seeds which are single cotyledon, they are known as monocot seed. Seeds which have two cotyledons, they are known as dicot seed. Monocot seed, example maize, dicot seed, example gram, bean, pea. Epigeal germination and hypogeal germination. Epigeal cotyledons come above the surface of the soil. Hypogeal cotyledons remains under the surface of the soil. That is the hypogeal germination. Give reasons. Maize plant has dry and light pollen grain. Yes, it has a light and dry pollen because they are pollinated by air. Scientifically, uh, apple is not a true food. Yes. Scientifically, apple is not a true fruit because apple develops from the thalamus. Vegetables like tomato is actually a fruit. Yes, they are a fruit because they develop from ovary. Dals kept in the bottle do not germinate. They do not germinate because they do not get moisture inside. So, they do not germinate. They are dry. Bean seed is called a dicot seed. Yes, bean is it because it has two cotyledons. You can see here. This one, it has two cotyledon, so bean seed is called a dicot seed. Name different parts of flower. The different parts of the flower are calyx, corolla, and rhesium, gynecium. That is calyx, corolla, and rhesium, and Gynoecium, G Y N O E C I U M. What are the different parts of a stamen? Stamen, collectively, stamens are known as and stamen. It has fil anther and filament. What is pollination? Transfer of pollen grains from anther to stigma is called pollination. Give two modification flowers having wind pollinated. Modification of the flowers. Stigma is sticky. And stigma is feathery.
modification of flowers that is they are feathery stigma and it is sticky stigma term fertilization fusion of male and female gamete is called fertilization where this occur in a flower it occurs in the ovary of a flower from which part of a flower an embryo seed and fruits are embryo is formed from zygote seeds are formed from ovule fruits are formed from ovary embryo is from zygote seeds from ovule and fruits are formed from the ovary how are flowers adapted for pollinated by insect they are large showy and they have brightly colored petals they are large and showy and they have brightly colored petals name different parts of a seed plumule radical and cotyledon testa tegmal plumule radical cotyledon they are the different parts of a seed conditions necessary for germination three conditions necessary for germination that is water is essential proper optimum temperature is essential and air oxygen for respiration water for swelling then only after absorbing water the seed cell then it starts respiring and then it grows further and beside it should also have the proper temperature for germination now high order thinking skills here okay and housewife planted papaya plant in her garden but the trees didn't bear any fruit what do you think is the reason he pl she planted a papaya plant in a but did not bear any fruit means it is the male flower in case of papaya male and female plants are different it's a male plant so it is not bearing the fruit number of butterflies are seen hovering on plants during the flowering season means the flower they are insect pollinated S pollen grains of such flowers acts as a food for the insect plus they also helps in the pollination from one flower to the other or in the same flower i hope it is clear any doubt anywhere you can ask me in the comment box again we will meet in the next video thank you